Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo and today we'll be taking a look at that hidden menu inside of your gallery and it's called Gallery Labs. Now once you unlock this, it brings in a lot of different things that you're able to do inside of your gallery, but there is a few of these that make a difference, some of them that don't make a difference. So today I'm just going to show you a few things that I played with earlier this morning uh, that actually does make a small little impact. So first let me show you how you can get this thing unlocked. So let me just close out of this. When you go inside of your gallery, on the very bottom right hand side, go inside of your settings. Now inside of the settings, you're going to scroll all the way down and you can see that there is no gallery labs. So what you want to do is you want to open up about gallery. So inside of here, you just want to tap on the version number about five or six different times. And then you notice that labs, gallery labs has been enabled. So you go back one screen, you scroll down and here is gallery labs. Now inside of here, let's just read the very top because I do want to let you guys know that if you do make any changes, make sure that you do fully close out of the application before any of them actually makes any changes. So again, it states all functions in labs are not official but only for internal test. Each change will be applied only after restarting the application. Please close the app from recent to apply the changes. Now, before we go any further with this little menu right here and go over just a few things that actually do make a difference, if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information and some of the hidden stuff that's built inside of your Samsung phones, make sure you hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. And again, if you appreciate this, if you found help, give this thing a huge thumbs up will help the YouTube algorithm push this video to more and more people. So on the first four right up over here, I tried to find some really big differences, some changes, didn't really find anything that was too massively helpful to either use them or not use them. Some of the other ones are actually pretty nice right up over here. Uh, but let's just say that we take a look at dynamic spacing between photos for just as example, it's already turned on the space between photos changes according to grid count and picture in the inside of the picture list. So when we go back inside the gallery, so here is the regular, you know, pictures list right here. So as you go through and you do your picture, to zoom you're trying to take a look trying to see if there's anything different so i'm taking a look at all of the spaces in between you know everything inside of here also too when you get it to be much much larger uh you know taking a look at how close everything is uh so that's basically what it looks like right there so when we go back inside of the settings let's head back inside the gallery labs dynamic spacing between photos again you do have to close it all the way out uh you know for anything to make a difference so here we are back inside of photos scrolling on in taking a look to see if there's any changes so maybe these photos here are quite a bit closer when you get all the way zoomed in it looks like there's almost no space in between those so again one last time just to take a look at it and then i'll show you a few things that actually does make a larger difference than what we're actually playing with right now so we've done that we changed it got out of it so here we are it looks like there is actually a little bit more space. It looks like they kind of optimized it a little bit. It actually does look a little bit smaller. Um, it doesn't look to be as, as filling of the screen, but again, nothing too massive. So now let's go back into something that actually is, you know, something beneficial. So before I actually go in through and turn it on, uh, really all I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the very bottom. Let's go inside of videos. Now inside of a video, let's say that we do uh, this one right here. So this is what a preview looks like. You see the play button, there's no movie line, uh, you know, things like that. So let's say that we go inside of the settings. So let's move right on back. So settings, very bottom, gallery labs. One of the things I do wanna show you is this advanced video player. So this right here, it supports play, pause and seek uh, in video uh, preview and mirroring on TV. So once you turn that one on again, let's just say for example, uh, if we go inside of videos, it's not going to sit there. So we're gonna go to this video here. There's nothing sitting inside of there. But when you do fully close out of this, you go right back inside of the gallery. And again, let's just say that we wanna go inside of uh, videos. So we tap on videos, go back to this one right here. And you can see here that there's now this movie line. You have a play, you have a pause um, that actually was not there from before. So obviously from the preview, when you do hit the play button, you can hit the sound so you can actually hear, you know, everything that is going on. But again, here's your play pause. You also have scrolling of the time right over there. Now let's say that we move right on back and let's say that we turn this one off one more time just so you can see that it wasn't there from before. So gallery labs, uh, advanced video player, turn that thing off. Now we're gonna go right back inside, close out, go back inside of the gallery, 
Uh, and then let's say that we take a look at that exact same video. Here we go. So you can see here, you only have play video. This is just a preview. So there's really no moving line that needs to be there since it is only preview, but you can have that little toggle for the sound. So there was one that does actually kind of seem helpful in the preview area. You are able to play pause um, as well as scroll. So this is one of those things I did turn on. Uh, and then right over here, so you got like video preview on picture list. Um, and then taking a look at show trash storage info. So I think that this one's another one that is also helpful just so that you can see how much uh, storage or how much you know photos and videos is stored inside of your trash. So right now you can see that it is turned off. Now all you gotta do is let's say that you go through and you wanted to delete these pictures. When you go to delete, you can say, you can see right here, it says move three images to the trash. So I'm not going to do that just yet. All I'm gonna do now is make sure that we go through. Let's get this one turned on just so you can see what it looks like. So we're gonna scroll down, show trash storage info. So again, we're gonna head right on back out, close out of all the applications or close out of the gallery. Now it's gonna happen again. Let's say that we click on those three one more time. You hit on delete. Now you can actually see how much is actually stored in the trash at the moment. Um, I don't really know for sure if this is completely helpful, but it is a change. It is something that I can see there. Um, so this is probably one of those things that I will keep on. So this way I can notice, um, wow, there is three gigs of storage in my trash. Maybe I might as well empty the trash now because it is using up three gigs of my phone. So inside of the trash right now, there are 708 megabytes. And even though it is set up to delete all of the pictures, once you put it into your trash, it will sit there for 30 days. Now, once the 30 days is up, those images and videos will then disappear. And it's like a rolling cycle. So when I go through my trash, you can see things deleted from 28 days ago, 25 days ago, 20 days ago, five days ago, um, and things like that. But yeah, they will then disappear out of the trash after 30 days. But this is one of those things that I guess is helpful at the end of the day, letting you know that if you noticed that you deleted something and there's like five gigs, you might as well just go in there, delete it, and then you just clear up five gigs on your phone. So how about we just go through, I'm just gonna read a few of these things just so then you can play with them. Uh, this basically you just turn these ones on. So I would say open this area up, turn on everything that you would like to turn on, then close out of gallery, go back in and see if you can see all these differences. So you also have timeline and album. So basically pictures in album view are clustered by date. Uh, you also have timeline in video favorite albums. So the pictures that are in video favorite album view are clustered by date as well. You also have timeline in search album. So pictures in search album are clustered by date. Uh, over here, dual photo preview only. So file is not saved by changing close-ups wide of live focus photos. So if you take a lot of photos in live focus, this could be one of those that you would maybe want to turn on. Android image decoder, use Android embedded images deco decoder for image region decoding. Uh, then a few other things that I really don't get. Um, here is some of these right here, fixed date and time, etc. So anyways, here is some of these fixed date and time. The ones that are on the bottom, when you go through, uh, you have this like log only, uh, more options for developers before fixed data and time or date and time. Inside of here, this is where you can go through and you can change a few things if you want to. Uh, here's some of these that have no location, uh, wrong width. So that just means that probably more than likely I went through and I edited the photos. So the, the, the width and height of these photos are completely different than what would have been as stock. So a lot of these, if there was any of them that had no date and no time, they would be right here. Uh, but then this is where you can fix anything. If it has the wrong type of width, you can put them as like one by one or 16 by nine. All of these have no location. I never really like to share uh, location. Invalid time. So you can go through and try to change some of the invalid time. So that's really all this one is here on the very bottom. So we kind of covered all of these ones sitting right here. I do like the, the option of show trash storage info. Um, if you have Samsung One UI 2.1, you can take a look at app bar expanding. So default value for app bar expanding when opening gallery. So pictures, albums, and memories. Uh, and I believe once it says 2.1, that means it'll be 2.1 and after. Same thing here, One UI 2.5 and after. And then right up over here, you have, uh, so I'm gonna keep this one on. If you wanna have a little bit of spacing in between the photos, it looked like it did give a little bit more space, maybe a little bit better aspect ratio looking on it. Uh, so we'll just keep this one open. 
optional menu in viewer so it supports rotate in viewer you also have day cluster merging in picture list so support day cluster uh, merging with single items in the picture list so i mean yeah it's it's one of those things that you can play with and if at any point in time you simply just want to turn it off maybe you feel that you might like mess it up somehow which you won't you can simply turn off this option right there and then when you close out of your gallery it's going to go all the way back to where it was from before so when you open up the gallery and then if you look on the very bottom inside of settings if i was to turn it off labs would then actually disappear but i hope you guys have found this video to be at least a little helpful what i would maybe suggest is if you want to have all your images a little bit more spaced turn this one on definitely turn on uh, this one right here which is the advanced video player um, and then down over here, show trash storage info. So really on this entire list, maybe possibly only three things that really kind of help out because everything in the timeline, we're talking about timeline and album and, and things like that. Everything already has a timeline when you go and you scroll through here. I mean, this is basically the timeline I believe it's talking about. I tried to play with all of them, didn't really find any issues or any changes from early this morning at like 8 a.m. when I was first playing with this. Um, but that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, appreciated it. Hopefully it helped. If it did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.